first of all, a very big welcome to Aston Villa. How pleased are you to join? Yeah, I'm uh, delighted that it's uh, finally all gone through and it's happened. And, uh, just, it's going to be great to uh, get started and see what I can do this season for the team. And of course, you've been at Barnsley since the age of 14. Was it a difficult decision to leave there, given your history? Um, yeah, it were, were a tough decision, obviously. I've been, uh, been at Barnsley since I was young and uh, it's helped me grow and develop a lot there whilst I've been there. I know, know all the staff and all the players, obviously I'm familiar with them. So yeah, it were a, a tough decision to, to leave and to leave home, but it's a massive club that I'm, that I'm joining and hopefully I can, uh, it can uh, just make me a better player and I can bring something to this team. And of course, you'll be working under Steve Bruce. How influential was that factor in your decision to join? Yeah, it were another another big factor in, in my decision. I mean, he's a he's a really nice guy, and he's a, obviously massive massive manager, well thought of everywhere. And when I met him, I just knew straight away that he were a manager I'd like to work under. So, yeah, it was it was quite a big decision for me. And I know you've only been here a very short time, but what are your first impressions of your new environment? Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a really nice place. It's a, it's a bit a bit different to Barnsley, but yeah, it's it's quality. The facilities are great, and obviously. Uh, It'll be just nice, nice to get going, meet, meet all the lads and, and uh, get started. Can I just ask you a little bit about you as a player? Because you've primarily played at right back at Barnsley, but before you started out as a midfielder, is it fair to say you're comfortable in numerous positions? Uh, I'd, li I'd like to think so, yeah, whether or not <laughs> whether or not I could do it in a game or not, it's different. But yeah, I'm uh, predominantly a right back. I've played there for uh, most, of, most of my career. I used to play midfield when I was younger, so I'm can be comfortable on the ball or on uh, if I'm pushed further forward but yeah mostly right back. And I know you've touched on this here but what can Villa fans expect from James Bree? Um, someone who likes to get forward with the ball, uh, he's quite comfortable in possession I'd like to say uh, relatively solid at the back if, if I need to be, always, always works hard and does his best for the team so big big team player. And of course, you were playing for the under-18s at Barnsley at just 14. You made your first team debut at 16, becoming the second ever, youngest ever player, rather, to make your debut in a Barnsley shirt. Were you always quietly confident you'd make it in the professional game? Um, obviously, you've always got to just take it steady and just wonder about what can happen, because you never know what can happen in football. But um, I always believed in myself and always pushed myself to do, do the best that I could. So I think I've set myself up and give myself the right pathway to, to have a good career in the game, so hopefully I can, I can go far. And for someone so young, you've racked up so many appearances already, played over 50 times for Barnsley and were part of that team that won promotion from League One to the Championship last season, where you went on that absolutely incredible run, bottom at Christmas, 12 wins in 15 games between December and March, which is quite remarkable really. But what did that particular group of players have that helped you turn things around, do you think? Uh, I think it was just a, a really strong team spirit with all the lads. I mean, we backed the manager all the way, we did everything for him. We all went out and put 100% on the pitch and I think that just showed his performances. I mean, everyone were good players, good technically, but if everyone's together and working well as a team, and it's hard to stop you. And of course, you've now played matches in both League One and the Championship. What would you say is the biggest difference? Uh, I'd say the quality is, quality is quite a lot higher. Um, the tempo... The tempo's similar, maybe a little bit quicker in the championship, but it takes a bit of getting used to. But yeah, just definitely the quality of the players are a lot more, a lot more technical. So you've always got to be, uh, be aware and always ready to uh, get back into position. And of course, we've got some very experienced players here this season, some real senior internationals in the likes of Mile Yedinak and James Chester. Do you feel that you can learn a lot from them? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think people who've been in the game long have had have that experience and the big reputation. They'll. Uh, They'll definitely be able to help me along the way. Obviously, me still being young, they'll be able to put their arm around me and guide me if I need any help. So that'll be that'll be good. And what would you say your initial goals and aspirations are here at Aston Villa? Uh, I think it's it's a massive club and it belongs in the Premier League. So obviously, pushing to get promotion is definitely the first thing I want to help the team do. And of course, you're looking forward to meeting the lads too. I imagine yeah, later yeah. on today. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, I don't not don't know any of them yet, so it would be good to meet them all and get get integrated into the group. Now that's absolutely fantastic and of course your success to date has led to natural comparisons really with the likes of John Stones coming through at Barnsley. Your thoughts on those kind of comparisons? It must be quite an honour. Uh, yeah obviously it's an honour with what, what Stones has gone on and done in the game but just got to take it with a bit of, bit of a pinch of salt really obviously. Hopefully I can go on and do, do what he's done and perform at that, at that high level but 
until it happens. I'm sure I'll keep my head down and keep going. And of course, we've now got a few, well, nearly a week, well, all, a whole week until our first game or your first game. How much are you looking forward to that? Because, of course, this enables you to have a bit of time with the lads, get to know the management, the coaches, and, and really integrate within the group. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it'd be a good chance to, to settle in and get my head down and just get used to my environment. And then hopefully I'll be able to make my debut on Tuesday at Brentford. So, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a good game to, to play in. And just finally, again, it's a bit of time until we next play at Villa Park, but how much are you looking forward to playing there for the first time and meeting the home crowd? Yeah, definitely. It'll be great. I've, uh, I've been there before as a fan and uh, the atmosphere was great. That was a few years ago now, but still. And um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to playing there. It'll be a, be a good stadium and a great atmosphere.